Hello students, today we are going to start with one of the important and the first chapter of physical chemistry which is solid state. When I said solid state, so when you heard the word state, you must have remembered the three states of matter, right? It is solid, liquid and gas. Okay, you have studied since school days that these are the three states of matter. Now just have a look around you and try to see how many liquid or the gaseous things you can see, gaseous stuff you can see around you, liquid and the gas. You can see very few things, right? Because the stuffs or the things which we use mostly they are in solid state. So solid state is the most widely used state, isn't it? But it doesn't mean that other states are not important. Because liquid and the gaseous state is very important. Hawa or pani ke bina hamlo jee sakte hai Nahi. So all these states, all the states are required for our survival. But solid uh, stuffs are more. The things which we use is in solid state, right? And the properties of matter depends on what? Property of any substance depends on its structure. So in order, in order to understand the properties, in order to know the properties, we should know the structure. Once we know the structure, then we will understand the properties or we can predict the properties. So students, on the basis of structure, on the basis of properties, we will be able, okay, if we study this branch, we will be able to discover the new material which will have the desired properties. Because once we know the relation between property and structure, we will be able to uh, invent the new materials with the desired properties like we will be able to invent high temperature superconductors or we can find out uh, new magnetic materials or we will be able to discover the biodegradable polymers the polymers which will be degraded by its own over a period of time it should degrade by its own so such kind of stuffs we can discover then we will be able to discover biocompliant solids which can be used in surgical operations as you know in surgical implants okay uh, we need a material which should degrade by its own so biocompliant or which should go with the body organs right so we we should be able to discover the biocompliant solids so solid state is one of the important states of the matter right students so now we are going further but before going further we should know the characteristics of solids okay so this diagram you are familiar with this you are studying since school days you can make out easily this is a solid right this is liquid and this one is gaseous and what 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 is it, uh, what inside what what are they they are nothing but the constituent particles and constituent particles could be atom iron or molecule right so these are the constituent particles just see the position or the distances between them this will help you to understand their properties okay so i have written some of the properties of solids which already you know what do you tell about the shape of solid material shape volume and mass in one word you can tell the answer and it is definite right so solids they have the definite shape they have the definite volume and even they have the definite mass but the things are different in case of uh, liquid and the gas uh, substances okay then what will say about the intermolecular distances the intermolecular distances in this see the intermolecular distance in case of solid is very less the distance is short they are very close to each other right but in case of liquids they are little away from each other in case of gases they are far off okay so solids intermolecular distance is very less intermolecular force of attraction in case of solid is very high they have the strong forces of attraction they are held together tightly by strong forces they are very close to each other okay movement so uh, liquid molecules have little freedom they can move little move, uh, right but gas molecules they are they have freedom like they can move uh, from one place to another place they show the property of diffusion which was studied already right but in case of solids see this you just imagine about this particle okay students can it move from where it will move students it cannot move right because it is uh, you know surrounded by many other molecules so mo motion movement is very less it is restricted and maximum you, can, you know they can show the uh, vibrational motion or they can show the oscillational motion okay oscillation or vibrational motion can be shown by them but they can't show translational motion like from one place to another place they can't move easily uh, the way uh, gas molecules move right 
and they are rigid you know see you can see it's rigid we i cannot bend it right rigid and incompressible i can compress it okay liquid to little extent can be compressed gas, gas molecules they show the property of compressibility and expansion but solids they cannot be compressed they are rigid they can they, we cannot bend it easily right so they show these properties okay these are the characteristics of solids which we were studying since school days now we we'll go for next